welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and you may notice that I'm a little bit further away from the camera for this episode, and that's because I want you to check out my brand new sweatshirt, my brand new hoodie. If you can read it, it says, One Holy Catholic and Apostolic. And we call those collectively the four marks of the church. Now, you, they might sound familiar because they come to us from the Nicene Creed that we have been praying at Mass for over 1,700 years. The Nicene Creed was initially written in 325 at the Council of Nicaea, and it's been tweaked over the centuries. But by and large, it tells us the same thing. It talks to us about our main beliefs, which is Trinitarian, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons in one God ridiculously difficult to understand. It's a mystery that humans can't understand. People, great geniuses in our faith, like Augustine and Thomas Aquinas, tried to explain the Trinity, but but they lack. It's, it's not something that we can do because we are human. We're not God. And so to understand God fully would, would mean that we're probably wrong. That's what St. Augustine said. If we think we know God, we're wrong. Um, but, you know, there's a sense of liberation with that because we're not messiahs. We're ministers. And that's what that's what we're called to be. So let me talk a little bit about this sweatshirt. Our producer, Fish on Fridays, the producer of Fish on Fridays, uh, Emily Shimoleski, uh, tipped me off to this really neat website called The Urban Catholic. Uh, TheUrbanCatholic.com. And they sell T-shirts and hoodies like this with all kinds of Catholic phrases and images on them, which really are a great way to promote the faith and evangelize without saying a word. So I saw this on their website, and I knew that I wanted to do an episode at some point about the four marks of the church, because there's a lot to unpack there. And I thought, how cool is that? This is like Holy Spirit stuff working, because she uh, came up with this website or told me about this website about the time I was thinking about putting this episode on. So it worked pretty well. But check them out when you have a chance. TheUrbanCatholic.com. Lots of good stuff there. And, and you know, we're, we're happy to call them friends of ours here at Fish on Friday. So let's talk about the, the four marks. We're going to start with one. What does it mean to be one? It means that we who are in a Trinitarian faith, again, Father, Son, and Spirit, we try to imitate the relationship of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. At the Last Supper, Jesus says in prayer to the Father, this is chapter 17 of John's Gospel, he sa Jesus says, Father, I pray that they all will be one as you and I are one. So every time we pray and we invoke the Trinity by signing ourselves in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, what we're saying is we want to be in relationship with others in the same way that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are in relationship. That's what it means to be one, that there should not be division. We're meant to be unified. We're meant to be one body that praises God, that worships Christ. And think about this. We're one because God the Father brought us into being. Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, established the church, and the Holy Spirit continues to sanctify it and make it holy. And so the one of the four marks of the church reminds us of that sense of unity. The second one is holy. What does it mean to be holy? We're all sinful, and that's, that's a great paradox. We're called to be holy, although we know we are sinful people. Well, Jesus is the perfect model of holiness, and he's the one we, we should emulate and imitate. St. Paul says, keep your eyes fixed on Christ because he is the perfecter of the faith. It's not you or I. It's not Father so-and-so or a teacher I had or somebody like that. It's Jesus. We are Christians because we follow Christ. And again, here's the Trinitarian sense. The Holy Spirit is the, is the, the is God the Spirit is the one that animates us and moves us toward that holiness, always trying to perfect us, always trying to sanctify us to live more like Christ. All right, one, holy, Catholic. Catholic in the creed is written with a small c, and the word Catholic means universal. And so we're told by that mark in the church that the church is not meant for a select few, for people who, who are wealthy or smart, or it incorporates everybody. Catholic is universal. It's for all times, in all people, in all places. Christ's message is not meant just for the Jews. It's meant for the Jews and the Gentiles, the non-Jews. It's for all people. And so we are to embrace that. We are to, to try to reach out to people who don't think like us. And I don't just mean politically. I mean even theologically. To have conversations, to find common ground, if you will, and to try to bring all into Christ. There's a story about Pope John the 23rd, now Saint uh, Pope John the 23rd, who had a crucifix on his desk, and he said he looked at it all the time, and Jesus' hands outstretched on the cross, and he said it always reminded me that Jesus was had his hands stretched out as if to embrace all, 
that he wanted that he was the true example of what it means to be Catholic. He embraced all people. And we know that in his ministry. He talked to uh, tax collectors and sinners and prostitutes every bit as much as he did to Pharisees and scribes and, and whatnot. All right. Well, unholy Catholic and apostolic. What is apostolic? Well, apostolic means sent. From the Greek word, it means sent. And we, by virtue of our baptism, are all called to go forth. We are sent to preach the word in the way we live our lives. In fact, if you don't know this, mass, when we go to mass, the word mass comes from the Latin word missa, because at the end of mass in Latin, when the, when the mass was said in Latin, the priest or the deacon would say, ita missa est, go, you are dismissed. As if you've just learned your lesson. You've been fed by the word of Christ. You've been fed by the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. Now go, you're sent to bear fruit. That's what it means to be apostolic. Clearly, we're not one of the apostles, one of the 12 Jesus chose, but we are apostolic in the sense of we are sent to live our lives in such a way that reflects our Christian uh, love, our Christian mercy, our Christian attitudes to, to our little corner of the world. There's one last thing I want to say about the four marks, and they answer those questions really well if you think about this. When we say one, it's what we are. What we are is to be one. When we say holy, it's how we are supposed to live. We're supposed to live our lives in holiness. When we say Catholic, we answer the question of who? Who are we? Well, we're all people in all times and all places. And then when we say uh, apostolic, what does that mean? That's the why. We are baptized to go forth and to preach the gospel. In Matthew 28, Jesus' last words to his apostles are, go to the ends of the earth and preach the good news and baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, we might not have to go to the ends of the earth necessarily, but boy, we've got neighbors and friends and families who can really benefit from our example, from our model, from our being one holy Catholic and apostolic. That's what it means to be church, the people of God. That's what it means to be church. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you uh, want to share this content, that would be great. Um, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be awesome. Follow us on Facebook. Um, I'm glad you tuned in, and I hope you will continue to tune in to more Fish on Fridays each and every Friday. Uh, until next time, be good to each other, and God bless. Mm -hmm.